Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to WordPress Event Talk, a Do The Woo podcast show. Well, for each flagship WordCamp, here at Do The Woo, we contact the speakers and ask if they'd like to record a short intro into their session. Some add a tip, others give us a little bit more about who they are. In all cases, you'll hear a variety of invites to attend their sessions. Also, a quick thank you for those who were able to find the time to do this. It's a busy time for speakers getting ready for WordCamp Europe, and I understand it's a bit above and beyond for many. So for all you speakers out there this year, cheers and see you soon. Howdy, my name is Fernando Tellado. I am the guilty of the blog Ayuda WordPress at ayudawp.com where I have writing about WordPress for the last 15 years. I dedicate my life to WordPress, collaborating with the Spanish community and offering all kinds of services, such of cleaning fancy sites, creating online stores and web maintenance. I'll be a speaker at WordCamp Euro 2024 in Torino with a talk on Saturday, June 15th at 12.15 p.m. called Rejuvenizing the Web. The main point of this talk is to reflect together on the importance of technological tools and whether they make us better human beings or not. I don't have the answers, but I think I do have the right questions with a hope to solve with you. I love to see you in my talk and discuss together about the more social aspects of technology and WordPress. Thanks. Hey everyone, I'm Camilla and I work as a content specialist at Yoast. And I'm Flori, the director of marketing at Yoast the company behind the well-known Yoast SEO plugin. During WordCamp Europe, we'll be hosting the workshop Keyword Research 101. Uncover keywords that bring you digital success, and we'd love to tell you more about it. During this workshop, we'll quickly go through the basics and explain how keyword research can help you grow your online audience. We will share a lot of tools that you can use, explain how to use them, and get to work with them right away. Plus, we'll share a very easy formula that helps you decide which keywords have the most potential for your website right now. At the end of this workshop, you'll walk away with a list of keywords for your website and lots of inspiration for new content your audience will definitely love. We would love to see you there and help you uncover the keywords that will bring you digital success. See you soon! Hi everyone, I'm Francisco Torres, just a normal developer working with WordPress for many years. You might recognize me by my bigotito, which is a Spanish word for leader mustache. I would like to invite you to my session called WordPress.org Plugin Repository a year in review. In this session, I'm going to tell you a story about how the directory needed a new team of volunteers, how we got there, what we are doing to improve it, and what plugin authors can do to contribute to it. One crucial aspect of developing WordPress plugins is ensuring they are secure. A significant number of WordPress vulnerabilities come from plugins, so it is essential to follow best security practices. The most common security issues we see are related to the absence of input sanitization output escaping and nonsense during user request. Please keep that in mind if you are developing or planning to develop a plugin. I will be sharing other best practices during the session, along with stories of how the plugin directory has evolved over the years and how you can play a part in this journey. Join me to learn more about the plugin review team, the challenges we face, and how you, as a plugin author, can contribute to making the WordPress plugin ecosystem safer and more reliable for everyone. Looking forward to seeing you there. Hi, my name is Irene Strickers, and I'm a data insight expert at Online Dialog. In my daily work, I help organizations optimize their websites by doing user research, data analysis, A-B testing, and other forms of experimentation. At WordCamp Europe, I'll be doing a lightning session called How to Leverage Analytics Data to Find Out Where You Lose Potential Customers. As a website owner, you want to sell as many products as possible. Or maybe you want to gain newsletter subscribers. Or you want people to read 
many of your blogs. However, people on your website might drop off somewhere before they buy, subscribe, or read. In my session, I will show you how you can make funnels in Google Analytics or other analytics software to find out where they leave. That way you know where on the website you might need to improve. One of the main takeaways of my talk will be to experiment with possible improvements before deciding to implement them. That way, you validate the change is actually an improvement and won't lead to extra drop-offs. I'd love to invite you to my talk on Saturday afternoon to learn more practical tips on how to make funnels and how to experiment with solutions. Hey, welcome Hero 2024. This is Matt Held, and I'm super excited to be speaking in Torino this year. This time, I'm going to teach you how to hack a common WordPress site as well as properly defend it. In my session, Think Like a Hacker, Attack Your WordPress. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to learn how to hack a WordPress site? Know thy enemy. In understanding how hackers operate, you gain a huge advantage when it comes to defending your own sites. As you can imagine, knowing where hackers and bots might attack and what they can find makes you a much better defender, right? During my talk, we'll start by exploring the mindset of hackers and threat actors. It's like stepping to the shoes of a digital profiler. Together, we discover how they spot vulnerabilities, exploit weaknesses, and wreak havoc if given the chance. This is where the fun begins. We will have ourselves some good old live demonstrations of real hacking techniques. A life hack. You'll see exactly how a hacker can compromise a WordPress site, from weak passwords and outdated themes and plugins to sneaky SQL injections, cross-site scripting, and much more. And here's the best part. You'll be able to follow along and try these techniques yourself. Think of it as a hands-on workshop where you get to play the role of both the villain and the hero. Before you start getting any funny ideas, remember, this is all about learning how to protect your site. So after we had our fun breaking things, we'll switch gears and focus on defense. I'll show you practical steps to safeguard your site against the very attacks we just discussed and why a security-first mindset will save you lots of headaches and hours. By the end of my session, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to keep your WordPress site safe and sound. To give you a sneak peek, here's a quick tip. When was the last time that you checked if you have a WP config backup in your WordPress file system? Check it now, and if you have, delete it, and please rotate all your credentials, including database, user, passwords, as well as WordPress salts. I promise this session will be packed with valuable insights, practical tips, and maybe even a few laughs. Whether you are a WordPress novice or a seasoned pro, there's something for everyone. So come join me at Think Like a Hacker, Attack Your WordPress, and let's learn how to be an attacker to become better defenders. The session will be on Saturday, the 15th of June at 12.15 p.m. on track two. See you there. Hey everyone, my name is Jessica Lushig and my talk at WordCamp Europe in Torino is called 2024 Pushing Default Themes Forward. As I was the co-lead for the 2024 theme, I will share with you not only the vision behind the theme, but also what features it offers, including how we made it accessibility ready and much more. Together, we will first take a look at the previous default themes and maybe you will see what all of them have in common. For making it accessibility ready, we had to ensure sufficient color contrast throughout all style variations, created a screen reader friendly headline style with an icon, as well as made sure all page templates have a correct semantic headline structure. I have also picked various websites that I will show you as an inspiration, which are all using the 2024 theme under the hood. This was a sneak peek of my talk, and if you want to learn more, join me on the first conference day on Friday, June 14th, at 11.15 a.m. on the main stage in track one. See you there. Hi, my name is Adam Zielinski and my talk is WordPress Playground. Use WordPress without a server. Playground is a groundbreaking new technology that brings WordPress to all devices and ecosystems with a click of a mouse. One of many things I'll show you during the presentation is how to build themes and even entire sites with nothing but a phone, no internet connection, no hosting plan. Come and join the presentation in Torino and also say hi afterwards. I can't wait to meet you there. 
Hi, I'm Katie Keith, founder and CEO at Bantu Plugins. I'm doing a talk at WordCamp Europe with Matt Cromwell from Stella WP, and the title will be We Spoke with Over 50 Different WordPress Product Owners. Here's what we learned. In it, we will be sharing the best advice that we have received from all the WordPress product owners who we've interviewed on our WP Product Talk podcast. A major theme of the talk will be listening to your customers. This is essential to building a successful WordPress product, or indeed any type of product, because without knowing what your customers want, it's practically impossible to create something that meets people's needs and that they will want to pay for and use. Listening to customers cuts across literally every part of running a WordPress product business. First, you should use it as an opportunity to get ideas for products in the first place. For example, if you're currently providing WordPress development services for clients, then listening to their pain points is an excellent way to find gaps in the market. Perhaps you can even use a plugin you have built for a client as a starting point for a commercial plugin. When you start building your product, it's also important that your users can input into the design of the software. This might involve things like user acceptance testing, which could be formal or simply mean asking a few friends or clients to test your plugin. This is a great way to make sure it's intuitive to use. Once the product is launched, your customers are an excellent source of marketing ideas. At Barn2, we send feedback request emails to all customers a few days after they make a purchase. These emails ask them where they heard about the plugin and even what they typed into Google to find it, and I get very excited when they mention a keyword that I haven't optimised for yet. And finally, you need to listen to your users to make sure they're receiving good customer experience. Think about the customer's journey at each point of using your product and consider what they need in order to be successful with it. This can lead to all sorts of new ideas such as better documentation, onboarding emails, intuitive setup wizards, regular webinars where they can ask questions, offering different types of support to meet different needs, such as live chat or even phone support. So, as you can see, putting customers first is an excellent way to plan a successful WordPress product business and should inform everything you do. We'll be talking about this in more detail and lots more at WordCamp Europe, so don't miss the talk. Hello, everyone. I'm Lawrence, and this is Damien. Hello. I'm Damien. The both of us are excited to be leading a workshop at this upcoming WordCamp around the new product editor. Yes, we are. I just came from WordCamp Vigo, where I also led a workshop about Gutenberg. I know. Exactly. Yeah. Damien, do you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, sure. I consider myself a simple man who, among many things, has worked as an independent web developer for a long time. Long enough not to mention it uh, here so as not to give away my age. But let's say I've been part of Automatic Company for over 10 years. Like almost everyone else, I like to do all kinds of things except paperwork and to end tests. Yeah. And where do you live? Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention it. I was born in Argentina, but recently moved to Portugal. How about you? Yeah, I currently live in the Netherlands, and I actually recently moved from Canada, where I lived uh, for the past 17 years, but originally was born in the Netherlands. I've been a developer with WooCommerce just shy of four years now. I had the privilege to work on a new product editor over the last year and a half or so. And for the rest, I tend to be a pretty active guy. I enjoy playing sports, volleyball, bouldering, things like that, and staying fit while at the gym, and enjoying watching a bit of soccer too. So I'm excited that uh, Euros is um, kicking off this the same weekend as this World Camp. Go Netherlands. Oh, nice. Talking about football, do you want to compare the number of stars or maybe actually let's stay on track what is next yeah let's definitely stay on track i prefer not to talk <laughs> about that and i'm rather glad that uh, the netherlands doesn't have to play argentina yeah, in the same. euros but anyway we'll try to not make too many soccer references during our workshop bob asked us to share a useful tip or a teaser for our workshop 
So what is yours, Damien? Uh, oh, yes. Here's a tip for the world. So um, one could be how to extend this product editor application. For instance, uh, part of the user interface uh, using the Gutenberg API because in the end we are using Gutenberg as a framework. What do you think? Oh, shoot, that was going to, <laughs> going to be mine. No. But yeah, I guess my tip would be for anyone that's curious about making use of input components, like a mm -hmm. select control that Gutenberg provides, mm -hmm. this workshop will show mm -hmm. you how to use them and bring you one step closer. Yeah, that, that sounds great. All right, see you there then. Yeah, come me in. Okay, bye bye. See you. Hello, everyone. My name is Raja Das, and I'm a plugin developer at Yoast. The name of my presentation is The Power of WordPress Testing and Automation Test Types and When to Use Them. In my presentation, you will learn what are automated tests, the different types of automated tests, and automated tests in WordPress core. Writing automated tests has benefits beyond just verifying software requirements. Automated tests serve as living documentation of your code base, help prevent regressions bugs, and facilitate safer refactoring. They also foster a culture of quality and collaboration within development teams. I will share practical tips on how to start writing tests in JavaScript and PHP, drawing from my personal experience in the field. Whether you're new to testing or looking to refine your skills, this session will equip you with the knowledge and confidence to integrate tests into your development routine, ultimately leading to a more reliable and maintainable code. I'm Ben Evans. I'm a community education manager at Automatic, and I work as a full-time sponsored contributor in the WordPress project. Currently, I'm a training team representative, focusing on keeping the administration of the team running smoothly. At work can be you this year, I'll be presenting a talk titled Introducing Learning Pathways on a brand new learn.wordpress.org. There are three big topics I'll be sharing in this talk. First of all, have you ever visited the WordPress project's official educational website? The site is located at learn.wordpress.org and we like to call the site Learn WordPress. Learn WordPress launched during the COVID pandemic when there were a lot of changes happening in the WordPress community. This year, the WordPress project is relaunching the site with fresh content and a new design. In my talk, I'll be sharing what exciting things await on the new site when it relaunches, currently scheduled for July. The second point of my talk will be introducing the new type of content Learn WordPress will be producing. We're calling them Learning Pathways. Learning Pathways are curated sets of lessons for learners of different levels, roles, and use cases. The training team is currently working on Learning Pathways for users and developers, with more pathways for designers and contributors coming next. We're on track to publish the beginner user, intermediate user, beginner developer, and intermediate theme developer learning pathways in time for the site relaunch. I can't wait to share more about learning pathways in my talk. And finally, the training team is looking for more contributors to help us make Learn WordPress the most effective educational website it can be. Come to my talk to learn how you can get involved with the Learn WordPress project. We have a world to reach with effective WordPress education and we need your help to achieve that. I'll see you there. Hey, Bob WP here, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to WordPress Event Talk. If you're not subscribed, just head over to dothewoo.io forward slash subscribe or find us on your favorite pod player. And remember, you can subscribe to any of our shows directly or hear them all on our Do The Woo full channel feed. And lastly, we welcome your thoughts, insights, and feedback on all of our episodes. So just head over to dothewoo.io and leave a comment. Until the next time, 